Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Barbara again in Happy Hours Preschool. Today, let's look at what day of the week it is. Let's do our calendar song together. You ready? Days of the week, days of the week. Help us clap, Jack. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and this Monday, this Tuesday and this Wednesday, this Thursday and this Friday, and then there's Saturday. If yesterday was Sunday, today is now Ma Ma Monday. That's right. So let's count and see where we are. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. 25, 26, and 27. So today is Monday. What's the month? April 27th. And what's the year? 2020. That's right. So boys and girls, today what we're going to do is we're going to read a story and then we're going to do a craft project after the story. But before we start, I want to tell you who I talked to on the phone yesterday. I spoke to Miss Paula. Remember Miss Paula? She left in December because she had a brand new grandbaby in her family and she's watching her grandbaby. So that's what she's doing. Her job now is to take care of her grandbaby named Abby. And she was telling me that Abby loves the songs that we do in preschool. And one of Abby's favorite songs is I'm in the mood for singing. And Miss Paula said, said every time that she sings that to Abby, Abby lights up and smiles so nicely. So I want to do that song with you. And I know most of you know it. So everybody have a seat. This is a sit down song. Are you ready? I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Now let's clap. I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for clapping. Hey, how about you? Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Now we could stand. I'm in the mood for dancing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for dancing. Hey, how about you? Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Now let's sit back down. I'm in the mood for shing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for shing. Hey, how about you? Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. So boys and girls, now we're gonna get ready and we're gonna do our story. And our story today, let me move my chair back, is The Wind Blew. And since it is spring, and there's been so much wind out there. It's been terrible. The windy days are ferocious. Just like we said before, March comes in like a lamb and goes out like a lion. And that's what it did in March. And it seems to be doing the same thing in the month of April. So we're gonna read The Wind Blew by Pat Hutchins. The author writes the story. The author writes the story. An illustrator draws the pictures. An author writes the story. Are you ready? Point to the ceiling. Point to the floor. Point to the window. Point to the door. Point to that table. Point to that chair. Point to Miss Barbara sitting over here. Point your head. Point your knees. Remember this? Dee, 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 dee. Fold your hands and sit quietly, please. Are you ready? Because I'm ready to read. The Wind Blew. Now this is a very large book, so I'm using the easel today to help us hold it open. So bear with me until I get it all set up. Let me get this going here. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, there's a lot of pages before we even start. Okay, here we go. The wind blew. Can you see the umbrella, boys and girls? It took the umbrella from Mr. White and quickly turned it inside out. Oh my goodness, look at that. And who's coming behind Mr. White? Oh, a little girl. It snatched the balloon from little Priscilla and swept it up to join the umbrella. So it took the, the umbrella and now it's taking the balloon. And look what's happening over here. Could that be a bride and groom coming? And not content, it took a hat and still not satisfied with that. So it took the groom's hat. Oh, look who's coming, a little boy. It whipped a kite into the air and kept it spinning round up there. So look, the wind has taken the umbrella, the balloon, the hat, and now a kite. Let's see, oh, who's in the picture over here? Who's, is that an, a woman hanging out her clothes? Let's see what she does. It grabbed a shirt left out to dry and it tossed it upward into the sky. Look at all these things that the wind has taken from these people. It is a windy day in this story. It plucked a hanky from a nose and up, 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 and up it rose. And I know some of you are at home saying, what's a hanky, Miss Barbara? A hanky is a handkerchief, which is just a tissue really made of cloth. People used to use handkerchiefs long time ago before they made tissues, and some people still do. It lifted the wig from a judge's head and didn't drop it back. Instead, there's the wig. Instead, it did something. Let's see what it does. It whirled the postman's letters up and as if it hadn't done enough. So now the postman letters are high in the sky. Let's see what else this wind does. It blew so hard, it quickly stole a striped flag fluttering on a pole. So it stole the flag off of the flagpole. Let's see. It pulled the new scarves from the twins and tossed them into the other things. Oh my goodness, look at all of these things. And who's coming over here? And what does he have under his arm, boys and girls? Does he have a newspaper? Maybe something's gonna happen to the newspaper. Let's see what happens. And this set, sign down here says new gale force winds. Those are ferocious, heavy winds. It sent the newspapers fluttering around, then tired of all the things it had found. Look at all of these things the wind took from these people. It mixed them up and threw them down. And they all landed on the wrong people and then blew away to sea because that's what the wind does. And look at all of these folks. They have all of their things back. The man has his newspaper. The twins have their scarves. The soldier has his flag. The postman has his letters. The boy has his kite. The girl has her blue what? Balloon. The lady has her laundry. This lady has, remember what I said? A tissue is that's made of cloth, handkerchief. This man has his umbrella. The judge has his wig and the groom has his hat. And that's the end of The Wind Blue, boys and girls. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do an art project and it's a spring art project. So come on over to the table with me. And I wanna show you something that blooms in early spring. Have you ever seen these things before? These things are called Pussy Willows. That's right, it's a funny name, Pussy Willow. A Pussy Willow comes from a small shrub, actually a large shrub, but a small tree. And they grow where it's really wet, in the woods where there's lots of ponds and rivers. So they grow in the wetlands. And actually, these little things right here, they're really, re oop, I just broke one off. They're really soft to touch. And these are soft silver tufts. And they look like, what do you think they look like? Let's get in close. What do you think those things look like? Well, if you said little tiny cat paws,
paws, that's what they look like. Tiny little cat paws, and that's probably where they got their name, Pussy Willow. Actually, this is one of the first signs of spring. It's when winter is saying goodbye and spring is coming up right behind them. And these little things are actually flowers just before they're ready to bloom. I've never seen what a pussy willow looks like after it's bloomed, but these are the flowers just before they bloom. So we're gonna do a project, a pussy willow project. And all you need for this project is some black paint, some white paint, whoops, and a brown marker, or any color marker will do. So here's my paint, and you need paper, and you need your finger. So the first thing you're gonna do with pussy willows is you're gonna try and draw the stems. And if you look at the pussy willow stems, they're long and straight, a little curve to them, but they're long, hard, and straight. So we're gonna take the brown marker, and we're just gonna make long, straight lines on our paper. I'm gonna do maybe four pussy willows. So I'm gonna do four lines, four branches of pussy willows. And did I do four? One, two, three, four. I have more than four in the vase right here, but I'm only gonna do four. And now I'm gonna finger paint. And if you look at that soft, furry little tuft, that is made of white and black and gray. So we can make gray by mixing black and white. So all you need is your finger. You put it in the black paint. And if you want, you can then dip it in the white. It's up to you because this is your project. And I'm gonna make pussy willows all up and down my stems. Look at that. I think I want them to be a little bit more white. So I'm gonna use more white, a little bit of black. And I'm gonna do it again until I'm happy with what my pussy willows look like. And if you wanna keep painting, finger painting, you can keep on finger painting. You wanna use some other colors, you could. And my pussy willows are almost done. Now be careful with paint, you know it's messy. So when you're done, put your painting aside and let it dry before you hang it up. Or you touch it, or you're gonna get paint all over you. And that's okay too, you can just wash it off. This is washable paint. So there, there you have it. There's my pussy willows. And when it's dry, if you want to, you can add to your picture. You can put some grass in, or the sky, or some clouds, anything you want. The sky is the imagination. Do whatever you want to do. It's your art project. So there you have it, boys and girls. Oh, and before we say goodbye, I wanted to show you something. One of my good friends, Max Holman, drew this for me. And it says, I miss you, Miss Barbara. Love, Max. And he mailed this to me. So I opened it in the mail the other day. And I was so happy to see this. And it made me miss you, Max, so much. Just like all of my friends in preschool that I miss. So have a good day. And I'll see you next week. Be safe, and remember, put your listening ears on for your grown-ups, please, and have a great day. Bye-bye.